guys. What are we gonna do today? I bet you can guess. We're gonna make this cute little setup for Christmas. So whether you use it um, on your coffee bar and have your sugars and your creamers or you put candy or whatever you would like to do, we're gonna use a few simple things that you can make this yourself. Let's get started. So the first thing I did is I just took a game board and this is actually a Monopoly game board and I painted it. I added a little texture into the paint, some salt wash. I don't think you really needed it. It's just, you could just paint your board. You might need a couple coats to cover it and let it dry. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut the two big elements out I'm gonna use on my display. So I'm gonna cut out the truck and I'm gonna cut out the snowman. And I'm actually gonna cut around all the little green vines also. So that takes a little bit, but it really does look cute. So I cut up my major elements and now I'm gonna put them on boxes. I'm using a four by four box for the truck. So I cut some strips of cardstock for the back of the truck to stabilize it a little bit. You can cut as many or as few pieces as you would like. Just gonna glue stick these on here. So after I have these on here, now I'm just gonna turn it over and trim around my wheels. I just wanted it to go all the way to the bottom of the wheels. So I had cut um, a four by four box and I am going to hot glue him right here in between these two wheels. And then I cut a smaller box, more like a milk carton size, and I'm gonna glue that to the back of him. And I'm gonna put him all the way to the bottom of the snowman, because he's gonna stand flush on the ground. So I am looking at this, and this is going to be glued right here. So it won't be touching the ground. So it's gonna be up higher. So I'm just gonna hot glue this on here. So I've glued my boxes to the back of my big elements and I'm just laying this down so I can get a feel for what I wanna put on the board in the back. I will be using a few transfers, but if you don't have the transfers or you'd like a different look, you can just print out tree images. I had tried several different ones. I could have used these and cut them out. Depending on the look you're looking for, you can take anything and cut out your trees to put back here, as many as you need. Lay this down to kind of get a visual feel of where I wanna put everything. Since this box is deeper, it will go in front. And from the snowman paper, the words, may your Christmas be happy. So you can print out any words or any elements you would like on your board. So now that I kind of have a feel for what I'm doing and where these are gonna be, I am just gonna start gluing the paper ones down. And you could use hot glue. I'm just going to use, for this, since it's just paper, I'm just gonna use this heavy duty glue stick again. I am using a paint and a salt wash on it. I did seal this board. I aren't using transfers. It doesn't really matter. You can just glue your paper pieces right on here. So you kind of just have to work in stages to see what you're gonna see and where you want your elements. Okay, let's finish getting him together. So what I'm gonna do now is um, wax this top part. If you weren't gonna cover it with anything, you might wanna wax the bottom too. So I am using some clear and dark. And if you wanted to, you could add more trees or what other embellishments you'd wanna add. If you wanted to add stars or other snowflakes or whatever you would like. So I'm gonna hot glue my snowman on. And this is gonna go. So what I'm gonna do now is lay that like that. Use a little spray adhesive. And I am using real cotton, but you can use whatever you would like. You could use batting, cotton balls. They have that spray snow. You know, if you'd like to, you could add a piece of bark or whatever else you would like to the front of this. And I just took this paper mache bowl and I just, I painted it. A little tree stump that I could put here. But what do you think? So you can see that no two are gonna come out exactly the same, 
But whatever you decide to add to it, it'll just give it a little bit of your own personality. So this was the first one we did and I added some tree bark and a few extra little things, but you can see the two differences again. And all I used was a game board, some paper pieces, and a few little extra goodies. But I hope you guys try it out. Thanks for watching.